the, North the North kicker's North got North the ball North set North up, North and we're ready to get this thing started. Number he really North got a hold of that North kick. North and it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Run left side. Makes it to the 34. Great job by the running back, and that's a gain of nine. That brings in second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Makes it out to about the 49. And they were lucky that one didn't go for more. They looked like they've never defended the option before. The tailback had a ton of running room there. Mike nine, Mike nine. Hang out. Hang out. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Mike nine. Mike nine. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. So he decides to hold on to it, and that's going nowhere. Good job by the junior linebacker to read the run and limit the play to a short game. I think he just barely got it. That's a great job by both the quarterback and receiver to keep this drive alive. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. They'll bring him down at the 33-yard line. three yards to get the first here on second down. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. Here's the eighth play of the series. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. I think he was going to go to his tight end the whole way, but the defense didn't expect it. Sometimes those big guys can fool defenders into thinking they're blocking. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. So the halfback loses about two on the run. That'll bring up second and 11. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 13-yard line. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Here's the 12th play of the drive. Quickly to the tailback. Tackle made at the six. Four yards gain. He executed the screenplay well here by getting the ball to the halfback. They pick up some yards. Fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. Virginia is looking to go up by three. The kick is up, and he's got it. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. 
He makes it out to maybe the 20 yard line. North Carolina's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Right over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. Quick throw. Call it a gain of eight yards. That brings up second and one. well defended by this defense. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. He's going to try and scramble. Quarterback's going to run it and he's got room to work. And down he goes at the 48. Makes it out to about the 43. That's a deep That brings up second and one. Set, set, right 80. Fire, Here's an opening. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. Good run by the quarterback. The thing that impresses me is the decision making. He sees an opening, decides to turn it upfield, and gets a nice gain and a first down. Check, check. Green 88. Thunder. Green 88. That makes it first and 10. Oh, we had a pitcher's duel in that low-scoring first quarter. 3-0, Cavaliers. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. Gets it out to his receiver, and he can't hang on. And once again, they'll come to the line trying to convert on third down. North Carolina can tie it up here with this kick. Kicks up, and they tack on three points. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Here we go. He's taken down right around the 38-yard line. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. From their own 38-yard line, first down. He makes it to the 38-yard line. He gets rid of this one. Third down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 38. Set 
up, and he drops it. They couldn't pick up the first down, so they'll have to punt this one away. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on a pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. He really got a hold of that one. Made a few guys miss on his way to a quality return. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. They bring him down in the backfield. From their own 19-yard line, it's second down. Ready, waiting. Caught and he's hit immediately. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. out to his receiver and he's tackled at about the 29 yard line and watch out they're going to bring the heat right here they get this one off and it's a beauty and he's tackled at the 30 yard line You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Has some daylight. He's tackled right around the 44-yard line. From their own 44-yard line, first down. down at the 45 yard line he's scrambling and they make the stop around the 48 yard line so it's third down and they've got about two yards to go Shoved out of bounds at the 34-yard line. Even if you're pulling for the other team, you've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. Again, he'll get the call. He's at the 20. Makes it to the 14. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 14-yard line. They'll work the left. Two-yard loss for the halfback. Virginia is going to have to use their second time out of the half. He makes it to the 15-yard line. That's a gain of one on the play. And this play is number eight on the drive. Short over the middle, and they'll get him in the backfield. Loss of one yard on the play. That makes it fourth and 12. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Virginia could take the lead with this field goal.
It's up, and the field goal is good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And they can forget about returning this one. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. And a quick throw. They'll bring him down around the 44-yard line. That's the kind of play calling and execution I like to see. Being one-dimensional on first down can really stack the odds against you. It's better to mix it up. Strike to his receiver, no good. The ball was underthrown. It was a good read. He just needs to find his rhythm back there and step and throw the football. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on the 44. Let's go. Check, check. 98 Weasel. 98 Weasel. He's under some heat. He gets sacked on the play. The Tar Heels are going to call their second timeout. Tackle at the 36-yard line. That was more than enough to pick up the first down. Next time, this defense will be playing on their heels. That makes it first and Here we go. 180. Wide. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. Let's go! He's got it with room to run. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. 98 Weasel! 98 Weasel! That makes it first and goal. Wide 80! Wide! And he just gets rid of it. This is the eighth play of this drive. He gets it up, and it sails through the uprights. We played a half. This one's all even at six. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Both of these defenses are opportunistic. They're very good at forcing turnovers. But both quarterbacks, David, have done a very good job while trying to maintain an aggressive mindset. They haven't forced the ball. The runners have done a good job keeping it put away. Yeah, and as much as you preach that all throughout the week, it's still hard to do. It's hard to execute. And being able to see what you see on the defensive side of the football and adjust to it offensively, how about protecting the quarterback so he's not getting hit from the blind side, fumbling the football, ball carriers running with the football, keeping it tight to their body, not giving it away. So, you know, between running backs, receivers, and quarterbacks, offensive linemen blocking, did a great job executing on the offensive side of the football, not to, create, not to give away any turnovers. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Heading into the third quarter now. Tie ball game. We're set to resume play. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. The only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Let's go! Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. That is textbook pass defense. As soon as the ball hit the receiver's hands, he was all over him. 
Third it's down. third and ten. Ball on the 25. Ready! He's going to air it long. Picked off. It's the cornerback. The defense really cranked up the heat there. Give those guys all the credit for forcing a desperation pass. Gives it off. Nice run to the left there. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And he's taken down at the 40. and looking to run. Tackle made at about the 27-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 27-yard line. It's caught. First down, and he's out of bounds. scrambling and he's going to be sacked i think the quarterback here even though he came up with a sack and he's on his back he's also guilty here of not getting a better pre-snap read you know a lot of quarterbacks would get caught up in their size and their arm strength and how they throw the football but the really good quarterbacks bring the intangibles to the table and that means recognizing a blitz and affecting the offensive line and making the right call to adjust the protection that time he didn't do that He's wrapped up for the sack. Call it a loss of 11 yards. That makes it third and goal. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Hit as he threw, and he completes it. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Number four, tackles him for a loss at the 26-yard line. That brings up fourth and goal. They're going to try a long field goal here. Virginia is looking to go up by three. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he got it! Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Fred, everywhere we go when we travel all over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread or the pistol and hurry up tempo offense and points. It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important bowl games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. Tackled at a decent pickup. Makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go. And they push him out at the 35. It's away, and it's a booming putt. 
He fields the punt at the 13. What a collision! Sometimes the punter can get so much leg into the ball that he outkicks his coverage. Looks like that's what may have happened here. Well, the last drive was good for three, but I'm sure in this one they'll be looking to double that. Virginia has a three-point lead. Makes it out to about the 46. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. It's first and ten. Ball on the thirty seven. Play action here. He's going to scramble. Heading for the corner. He's taken off. He's taken down. Right around the 22-yard line. Hands off up the middle and stuffed. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball in the 23. Mike nine. Mike nine. Get in. Got a man and it falls to the ground. The pass is incomplete. Number two was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and 12. Virginia holds a field goal lead. to cap this off with a touchdown. Scrambling around. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. You know, he was looking and looking, and he finally said to himself, you know what, I'll just take this thing myself. Nice decision making. converts the extra point. A seven-play, 63-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So our score, 16-6. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Virginia is the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this Yo! offense. Sam! Hey! He steps out at the 29-yard line. Pretty nice pickup here. These guys are getting very tight on their timing. That'll bring up second and three. Ready, Jack. Green 90. Regular. Regular. Green 90. Caught out of the open. He's to the 40. And he's tackled around the 41-yard line. Number 22 on the tackle at the 41-yard line. First down. At the 47. Game of six yards. That brings him second and five. Let's go! Gets it. He's in space. 
He's tackled at the 48. So with one quarter remaining, Virginia leads it 16-6. That makes it first and 10. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. There's a strike complete, he's down. That makes it second and six. Just throws this one away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 38. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling keep pressure keep to throw the ball keep just to throw the ball. Right back, if you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. He makes a catch and has a first down. To the 10. Brought down around the two-yard line. That makes it first and goal. Nice move to finish it off. Touchdown. Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. He makes the PAT. So a nine-play, 77-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Virginia is up a field goal. And they make the stop at the 35-yard line. From their own 35-yard line. First down. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. He's going to try and scramble. They'll bring him down around the 43-yard line. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's going to be a first down. The back got about five yards on the play. Again, they go with the halfback here. And again, he picks up some positive yardage and a first down. From the 36 yard line, it's first down. Just under three to go in regulation. Get 
He's on the run. Tackle around the 32-yard line. Three, maybe four yards on the scramble. From the 32-yard line, it's second down. Throws left, the running back's got it. That's a great tackle at the 30. The Tar Heels use their second timeout. And this play is number eight on the drive. Setting up blockers, the running back's got it on the screen. And he's leveled at the 25. The Tar Heels using their third and final timeout from the 25-yard line. First down. The clock will stop with that incompletion. Boy, I don't understand that strategy at all. With the lead late in the game, you just need to run the football. That's not a smart decision. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. They've looked good so far on third down on this drive. Let's see what happens here. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Gets it out quickly. And he's taken down at about the 39-yard line. First and ten. Ten. They come out in a five-wide set. And he hits him hard at the 31. The spike will stop the clock. From their own 31-yard line. It's third down. Under a minute left. Steps out of bounds. Right around the 36-yard line. Touchdown! Huge play! Here's the extra point to get within a field goal. And he tacks on the extra point. Well, I'm sure Reese is having fun giving updates from this game to our other games going on today. We've had back-to-back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back -to -back scores. This is where the offense has to come to the forefront. They work all week for situations like this. They've got the lead. They've got a chance to add to it, and that would mean a victory. 
Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. So this one goes final. A hard-fought close game. 23-20, Cavaliers. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. They've talked about the rivalry all week long, and for good reason. We saw the intensity down on the field every play, and it showed us why these teams love to hate each other. It'll be interesting to see how this game carries over the next time they play. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.